Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to make this brief because I can't yell for a long time. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Steve, you want to come? Sure. Uh, we're here today to say goodbye to our dear leader, Chief Eric McMahon. It's been a pleasure to work with him, a real professional. He is a fireman's fireman, as I have said before. Um, I never doubted this department uh, under his leadership, uh, under the leadership of the individuals that he brought up with him. Uh, we're sorry to see him go. Usually when people come to me and say they've got a job offer, I try to talk them out of it. Um, but I have respect for his decision in this case. Uh, I know it's good for him. It's, uh, it, it's quite, uh, quite an elevation. Uh, Terms of, uh, in, in terms of his professional development. I will miss him, we will all miss him. I had hoped that he would uh, outlast me here, uh, but uh, this, is, this is a great opportunity for him. So I do hope it works out for him. I can't say enough uh, how proud I am of him as a department. Um, it comes as no surprise, it comes from a family who has given a lot to this city. Uh, both the fire and the police services, we're grateful for all of that. Uh, it's been a true honor to serve under him. I've learned a lot from him, and uh, and I will I will miss him. And at this time, I'd like to present uh, just a certificate of appreciation for his 34 years of service here. And uh, I you will all join me in offering our congratulations to him, our thanks for everything he has done for the city of Troy, and our best wishes. <laughs> Senator Ashby's here. Uh, so, uh, Danny Sal, uh, and probably others. Thank you all for coming. Well, I would just say, uh, echo what the mayor said, and, uh, is that time? <laughs> to be totally honest with you. The guys that are down on the street that make us look good every single day, and the accolades truly belong to them. The guys that mentored me, the, 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 the department that was left to me was just an absolutely fantastic department. And I'm just so appreciative of, of everybody and everything that's ever been done for me. The administration, the city council, but I gotta be honest with you, for the past 10 years, I've been a staff chief, maybe it's even longer than that, might be even 15 years. My wife and I have had to drive to, in separate vehicles in case a call came in, every night getting woke up by like either phone calls or box tones going off or me rushing out of the house at night. And the fact that 
the fact that she stayed and helped me uh, help me through this whole entire thing. I can't thank I can't thank my wife enough. <laughs> to the firefighters and to the uh, to the recruit firefighters that are staying here, please. The only thing that I can say is. Be safe, be safe, be safe. It's it's such a tremendous, it's such a tremendous weight asking these firefighters and you know fire officers to run into uh, to run into burning buildings. It's it truly is a tremendous amount of stress. So the, to the fire officers, keep the firefighters safe. To the firefighters, please be safe and keep you know your officers in line. And to everybody that came here, thank you so very much. It's, it's I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm humbled. I'm humbled by everybody coming out and wishing me well. Thank you very much. Well, it's great to be with you. It's great to see such a strong turnout for decades of service. And I said this at the induction ceremony. The tradition that you exemplify is going to be carried out right here and it's so evident and I just can't thank you enough. The city of Troy can't thank you enough. Capital Region and firefighters for years to come will remember this. Thank you. Thank you. to Ryan's wake. My wife wants to uh, invite everybody over there. <laughs> Buy everybody a drink. <laughs> the Troy guys are on duty. I'm still the chief till midnight. <laughs> Don't make me scratch paper until, you know, please. But thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, thank you.